Hi guys, I am back. Obviously I've already released um, a first video, but I wanted to do, I just wanted to put a video out there that was a bit more like chill, that wasn't so like sit down intense, like talky. Thought I would start off with a um, Q and A. Um, it's not really like a, get to know me or anything so anyway um what i thought i would sort of do is i would ask so i went to instagram and i put the q a thing out there um, yeah i thought i wrote i wrote some down so i've got them in my little book um but i've only literally got a few on it because i know that i know the answers are going to be long so i think i'm only answering like four questions so the first question is is what are you doing now um this is quite an interesting one for me because i do get asked that like a lot i'm doing the same thing as i always have been doing i've just been getting on with uni i've been working and i've been seeing the same people that mean to me the same and that's about it really i did take a really long break from youtube i will get into that a little bit later on um and i think i wanted to sort of focus on myself i got back I, I started going to the gym a bit more i started looking at what i wanted to do after i finished uni and just things like that and i think it what you need to do is you need to sort of take a step back you need to take a break from everything and then you need to sort of think about your life that kind of thing um how is uni going and now i thought that was quite a funny one because i do not talk about uni like a lot of people say that like they think university to me is like my last priority and my mum always used to say that and i think a lot of the time it is to me because i i I don't like being told what to do and I think that's really hard for me. I like work and I like earning money. I like going out there and like feeling like I've earned something. I think when you're at uni, you go in there for like five hours or however long out of the day and you don't really get anything out of it until like three years in and it's it's so annoying. And the fact that I've repeated a year, so I done first year twice, um, it's just even longer. So I just feel like it's never ending for me. Like I feel like I've been running on the same track for like 10 years and it's exhausting now i'm just so over it but my sort of plan is that i'm i was thinking about doing my masters um but i don't think i'm gonna now i just sort of want to get uni finished and then sort of i think just relax a little bit i want to save some money earn up but as far as it goes uni is going really well um i sort of found my flair in it a little bit um so the next question is the infamous why did you leave youtube let me let me skew on in so this was asked so many times and when i sort of said about coming back to youtube a lot of people were like why did you even leave what the hell happened like what the hell was going on and i think it was I'd done it so quietly and I sort of removed myself from the situation. I didn't want to speak about it. And I think I wasn't ready to speak about it. I didn't want to address it. I didn't want it to be a thing or anything because I sort of wanted to just get, I wanted it to be brushed under the mat and I wanted to move on. Um, now that everything's kind of become a lot more clear, I think it's quite interesting um, how it all makes sense that everything what happened um i'm not gonna go into detail i will just sort of give you the the run by but basically i lived in the house that i lived in last year and um i wasn't i don't think i actually spoke about it on youtube actually I don't think I even said anything. I don't think I filmed in that house actually and put it on, I don't think. So my, um, the house that I lived in, in which technically would be my second year, um, I lived with some girls who was on my course before I had to redo the year. And I, we were all friends and everything was fine. And I think a lot of situations, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, you, girls living with each other anyway, it's, it's quite intense. Um, 
so basically um yeah we just fell out loads of times and i think it's hard because when you do live with loads of girls like that does happen so anyway i got a new job and i'm filming it and i'm talking about it on my christmas vlogs life was really good uni was going great mentally i was insanely happy um i just got this new job and you do not understand when i mean this job was like the creme de la creme it was unreal and um yeah these girls they um they just didn't want to see me win they just didn't they didn't want to see me win and i think out of everything they're just so jealous like it was it's funny really if anything i'm laughing now and so is everyone else believe me but um yeah they, they, they didn't want to see me win and I, I got this job and I think maybe they thought I was competing with them or remotely I didn't give a fuck but they yeah they thought I don't know what they thought I couldn't tell you what they thought because honestly any human being would not anyway I spoke about my YouTube channel and these people have gone and shown the YouTube video or whatever they've said to the area manager to the point where the area manager has had to ask me to go home to leave the building because they think that I've disclosed information. And I'm not saying the area manager isn't any wrong or anything, but she told me, delete all your videos, get rid of everything, and then we'll talk, we'll talk about it. Obviously not thinking that I'd need it for evidence. I deleted every single one of my YouTube videos. I just kept thinking like this job is all I've ever wanted. Um, I need to do anything I can to keep it. So I deleted everything. I called my mum, I was in hysterics. I don't think I've ever been so sad in my life. But anyway, there we go. So I deleted all my YouTube videos. I didn't get asked back to my job. And evidently these girls, they they thought they got what they got what they wanted, which is quite funny. But um, realistically, when it comes down to it, um, they haven't won. I'm still going to do my YouTube video and I'll get a better job. There's no denying that. Like, there's no denying that. I'm I'm going to get it. Like, And I think it's sort of a message out there to, like, anyone that's ever getting put down by any people. Like, bullying nasty vindictive evil evil people they will not win like they will not win like karma the fucking moral of life i don't even know like it does not it does not happen like these people do not get to win and i'm i'm not about revenge i'm not believe me a lot of people i know are um and a lot of people i've told a lot of people I've told have wanted to get revenge, but do you know what? I, I've said, no, do you know what? I'm I'm not. I'm just going to sit back and I'm just going to let it ride out. And then when I'm ready, when I'm ready to move on, I'm going to get back into YouTube. I'm going to get back into my work that I wanted to get into. And I'm going to change my steps. I'm going to focus on a different route. Like, And if anything, it's made me learn. It's taught me things differently. You know, I, I kind of look a bit differently on people who I trust now. I'm very specific about who I let in my circle. And I just think, if anything, it has taught me loads. So, yeah. And I'd, and people can say, like, oh, my God, they're fucking bitches. Who the fuck are? Do you know what I mean? Like, but you know what? Like, I feel sorry for them. I really do. Like, these girls, they really... They really just didn't have anything better to do with their lives besides, bearing in mind it'd been six months since I'd spoken to them, um, than to get me fired. But yes, anyway, um, but I'm back and that's the tea. <laughs> um, so yeah, don't want to finish on a bad note. So the last question is, what are you doing now? Well, so on May the 13th, I'm going to be flying to Ibiza 
I have tweeted it and I think I've put it on my Instagram a little bit. So yeah, and I've never worked there before. I'm really excited, but I'm gonna do a whole video on like the process of it, like how I, st how I got into it, what I done, um, what I, what I had to do, blah, 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 money, expenses and all things like that. Just sort of pre, like a, like a, wanna do season on Ibiza? Here's what you need to know kind of thing um but yeah so really exciting things to come i'm gonna be there throughout the summer and i'm gonna be vlogging the whole time so i'm gonna do a big lead up to it a big lead up video and then i'm gonna do a like a weekly vlog whilst i'm out there if i can i mean i don't really know <laughs> i'm working five nights out of the week so it's pretty it's pretty intense but um i'm really excited yes so yeah that is my first sit down video done back and i'm really really happy i'm in a really good place guys um i'm really happy i'm in a really good place and i'm very excited for the future so Bust down, Tatiana. I want to see you bust down. Break it down now. I don't want you. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, I'm not doing that, but. Bye. Bye.